Did you guys know that your 403B, DCP, and Plan 3 retirement accounts are all just ticking tax time bombs waiting to go off in the future? And when they do, it's going to leave you owing tens, if not hundreds of thousand dollars in taxes. In this video, we're talking about why that's the case, what other tax bombs may be waiting for you in the future, and why building a tax-free retirement today is so important. My name is Ethan Meagle, the co-founder of Cynic Financial, and I specialize in helping school district employees in Washington State build better financial lives. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I post new videos every week. So the thing that your 403B, DCP, and Plan 3 retirement accounts all have in common is that they're all pre-tax retirement accounts. So you've chosen to take a tax deduction today, so you're saving taxes of money today. It's going to defer the taxes into the future, and at some point in the future, you're going to have to owe taxes then. And obviously, that's the reason why you've probably chosen to get into one of these plans because it sounds like a good deal. I get a tax deduction today while I'm working and probably paying more taxes. In the future, I'll be making less money, therefore I'll be in a lower tax bracket, and I'll pay less taxes then. That's what you've been told, but is that really true? Unfortunately, it's probably not. If you look at the current circumstance of our country and the way that our tax code is written, in 2025, the tax code is going to be going up. It's just written in our tax code as it is. If you look at all the stimulus money, currently just $6 trillion has been pumped into the economy. There's only one way that we can actually pay for that as a country. And what's the only way that governments get their money is from taxes. So it's kind of naive to think that taxes will not be increasing to pay off our national debt. That's going to be north of $30 trillion by the end of this pandemic. So now why does any of that matter and how does it affect your specific retirement accounts? Well, when taxes go up, they're going to affect you in the future. So even if you may be making less money and drop a tax bracket, that tax bracket could potentially be at a higher rate anyways. So it's definitely possible to be in a lower tax bracket than you are today, but still be paying more tax. The other problem is that these pre-tax retirement accounts are the only account in the entire U.S. tax code that force you to take your money out. Whether you want to or not, they're going to require you to take it out. If you choose not to or forget to do it, they're going to assess a penalty of 50% on the amount you're supposed to take out. So these required distributions are called RMDs, required minimum distribution. And it's what the IRS makes you take out each year so they can collect your taxes on it. Now, under today's tax code, age 72 is going to be when you're required to start making these distributions. So now the reason why I call it a tax bomb is because while you're saving money into it, oftentimes you put less money into it than you do have interest. So you may have put, say, $100,000 of the course of your career into an account, and by the time you retire, it's probably going to be worth, you know, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 because you have that interest growing over time. That's the whole reason why we invest to begin with, right? So the problem with these pre-tax term accounts is you owe taxes on the entire thing. Even though you only put $100,000 in it to begin with, and you got the tax deduction on just $100,000, you owe taxes on the entire thing. So even if you drop a tax bracket, you still have to owe that tax bracket on the entire amount. And as your account grows each year, it's gonna keep your account balance even, if not keep growing beyond that. So as you get older and you're required to take this money out, you're going to have to be pulling money out every single year and that account's not going to get any smaller typically. So it's just a never ending tax flow or tax fund that you're going to have. Okay, so now for a quick example. How does saving tax on $155,000 of income lead to paying taxes on over a million dollars? So we look at the screen here, we'll go through a quick example. So this is somebody starting off at age 35 and they're just saving $5,000 a year, not a crazy amount and they're gonna be earning 7% a year. Now this represents what most people are doing during their growth or accumulation phase, right? Just saving money on a pre-tax basis. So as he puts away that $5,000, it's gonna be a tax deduction, so it comes off of his income. So we fast forward to the bottom, now he's age 65. He's been doing $5,000 for 31 years. He's averaged 7% the entire time. So on total, he's put away $155,000 100% on a pre-tax basis. And if you look at his any account balance here in the yellow, you can see that he has $528,000. Amazing, right? So that's why we want to save as early as possible because we're going to end up with way more money than we initially put into it. That's why we invest. So that $528,000 still hasn't been taxed yet. So once you retire, and now we're in the protection distribution phase, that money is going to continue to grow for us, right? Our money doesn't stop growing just because we're retired. So in this case, 
this guy actually doesn't really need the money because hey, he's got a pension, he's got social security, maybe some other assets on the side. So he decides, I don't want to touch this money, I'm just gonna let it ride. So you can see as he lets it ride, he just scales back his risk. You can see his return now is only 5%. And he's gonna keep letting it go. And you see at age 72, that's when the required minimum distributions start. So that's when Uncle Sam forces you to take your money out, even if you don't want to or need the money. At age 72, off of $714,000, he was required to pull off $27,000. So his income for that year just went up by $27,000. There's a good chance you may be bumping yourself up into another tax bracket for, for taking that much money out. But as you can see, every year that goes by, he's taking out more and more money. Why? Because the account is still growing at 5%. Seeing that you're taking out that much money, the interest alone on those accounts when they're that big still grows steadily. So you can see by the time this guy is 85 years old, he's taken out a total of $518,000 off of his account and was forced to pay taxes on all of that. In addition to that, you can see that he still has $681,000 sitting in his account, all pre-tax still. So he still owes taxes on all that money too. So when you take the $518,000 that he was already forced to pull out and pay taxes on, and you add the $681,000 he still hasn't paid taxes on yet, that leads to over $1.1 million of money that you have to owe taxes on. So that's why we refer to these things as a tax trap or tax bomb. It may seem good while you're saving for retirement and getting that tax deduction, but who really wins here? You who got to reduce your income by $155,000 over the course of 31 years, or the IRS who gets to collect taxes on over $1.1 million. All right, now let's assume that taxes did change and went down like we think they're going to. So if taxes while we're working are at 25% and in retirement, they're only 15%, who would pay more money in taxes? Would you rather pay 25% on $155,000 or would you rather pay 15% on $1.1 million? The answer is pretty obvious, isn't it? So unfortunately, the whole save money now while we're working because we'll pay less money in the future because we'll be in a lower tax bracket typically isn't going to be true so it's important to look at the big picture and how things are going to work long term rather than just looking at a one to two year what's going to be best for me now for taxes so that was just one example of a tax bomb there are a total of six that are probably going to affect you in the future if you want to know the other ones and how they're going to affect you check out my free master class in, in the description below where I'll show you how to build yourself a tax free retirement so you can avoid this tax trap I showed you here today as well as the other five. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment below with your thoughts and comments and I'll see you guys next week. And remember that your future depends on what you do today.